Hey everyone, it's Matt Williams, Mr. MPW. Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to jump into the Flight Sim series. Um, like we said, lots of people kind of stuck at home at the moment. Um, lots of questions about kit and you know what to get and how to set it up and how to get started. So we're going to start bringing that to you today. We're going to dive into X Plane 11 and um, yeah, get you off the ground, get us doing some flying. We're going to build an entire series of this um, from beginner stuff all the way up to really advanced stuff, you know, instrument flying, that kind of thing. Um, first of all, though, a lot of people asking what kit to get. Now, X-Plane is one of those things, um, and that's probably, I would say, the best flight sim out there at the moment, X-Plane 11. We're not affiliated with them in any way. Um, I'll drop a link to where you can download that from below. Um, it doesn't cost a huge amount. There's a free trial, which allows you kind of full access. So I think it's like 10 or 15 minutes you can fly around for, and then it locks the controls out, and um, you have to restart it. You know, do that at first. Um, start doing it for free, 10, 15 minutes at a time. Um, I would strongly suggest, though, getting yourself one of these. Now, um, I've got a really kind of cool flight yoke and again more on that over the next um, kind of few days and weeks and I'll pop uh, a link to all this stuff onto our new Amazon page which is um, again I'll drop a link below but yeah this is what I would recommend starting off with you know don't go anything fancy at first I think these are about 11 quid um, on Amazon next day or even same day delivery get one of these um, it'll get you up and running you've got a little throttle on there which makes things much easier than using the keyboard um, there's enough buttons on it to have you know flight trim or flaps up and down um, again more on that as we go you can use the little hat here to look around um, and there's a trigger at the front which on most of the aircraft in x-plane in particular are normally set to um, parking brakes so you can put the brakes off and on um, so, but yeah for a you know 10 11 quid whatever it is um, get yourself one of those i'll drop um, an amazon affiliate link to that product into uh, the description below um, if you do want to grab one go and grab it using that link would be much appreciated so without further ado we will dive on into x plane and um, get ourselves up and running i'll show you the basic start up to that and we will do it as if we are using that joystick so here we are then in X-Plane. So let's get ourselves up and running, go on our first flight. We've got our joystick connected. Um, I have done a video on the calibration setup um, and setup for that. So um, you'll probably have to dive outside of this video and then jump um, to do your calibration of the joystick. If you want a kind of walkthrough of that, that that's dropping on the channel at the same time as this one. Um, and then you are at the stage where you can load this flight up and, um, and get up and running. So where um, I'm going to start off from is a place called OCI. County. Um, so we click on new flight. I'm going to choose the aircraft that I'm going to use, and in this case, I'm going to use the Cessna Skyhawk, the um, standard one with X plane. We've got some custom aircraft installed that we'll be using later on for teaching because they're really good for uh, teaching on. But yeah, standard Cessna Skyhawk. Um, so we choose that aircraft. Not going to bother customizing it at this point. Um, in the location part, I'm going to put L52, which is the identifier for Oceano County. Um, really nice, kind of small municipal airport private airstrip effectively out in southern california that i tend to do a lot of flying from we're going to set the weather to clear we can move this um, slider here to set the weather from everything from clear all the way up to stormy and um, we'll be diving into customization of that as we move on throughout the training um, on the channel here and the time of day i'm just going to pop to uh, to about midday just so that it's nice and bright um, nothing to worry about there once we're happy then so we've got the aircraft l52 um, and we're going to click on start flight Okay, so we just cut out all of the loading time and things like that. No point you guys wasting your time having to look at that. Now, it started us at the um, the kind of local um, parking ramp. You can, if you want to, change that location, and, um, and that might be worth doing, actually. So I'll show you how you can do that just for your first flight. So you click on the little aeroplane icon. That takes us back to this original page, and we can choose another aircraft and, um, you know, and move ourselves around. So what we can do here is if it hasn't started you at the end of the runway, um, on the flight in progress part at the top, you can click change location. Um, and if we click on that and load the Oceano County Airport, which we've got here, you can see these little circles and we can choose exactly where we want to start from. So um, we could choose either end of the runway, um, 29 or 11 or all of these different parking spots. So where it had us was actually here at the general aviation parking. So let's pop ourselves at the end of the runway, runway 29, um, and click confirm, start new flight, and start new flight. Um, we'll let this load. And there we go, it's come on quite quickly. And we are now sat at the end of the runway, pretty much ready to go. That saves any messing around with taxiing, and we'll look at that at some point in the future. So we can move the um, view around with the, the hat, 
on the actual joystick itself. Um, so get used to those controls. Um, start getting used to moving things around and seeing what everything is. Now, there's only a couple of things that we need to check really before we uh, before we take off and go flying. Um, what we're going to do is just pan down a little bit and we can see this little um, kind of lever here, if you like, if you can just make that out. I'm going to press the trigger button and that is the parking brake. So we take the parking brake off and on with that trigger button. That's what we set up. If you haven't set that up, go and watch that video. You can see how to do that. Or you can press the B key on your keyboard um, and that'll take the parking brakes off um, and then back on again if you want it to. So that's the first thing. So that's the parking brake there. Um, next one to look at are the flaps. Now we don't need much in the way of flaps um, when we're flying this aircraft, particularly in the configuration that we'll be in when we start it. And you can either kind of slide it down by clicking the control in the cockpit and sliding the flaps down. Um, we actually just want them down at 10 degrees. That's our takeoff flap if you want to do that. We can also do that on our controller if you've set that up using the, um, the kind of tutorial video on that. We'll do one click down on the flaps. Um, so that's us with now brakes off and the flaps on. Now if you're wondering how I'm moving the view around, you can, like I say, you can move it around with the, the hat, the little coolie hat, the eight-way hat, eight -way hat on the uh, joystick itself or you can take the right mouse button hold the right mouse button down and drag that view around and sometimes to be honest especially if you've got it set up so that your mouse is um, is right next to you that's the easiest way to do things so um, we can move that around now I'm just going to check that the controls work so we've now got flaps down at 10 we've got the brakes I'm going to take off we're not going to go anywhere um, in this um, although we do it just before we take off normally and now I'm just going to check that the controls work so you're left right forwards and backwards they all work as they should we go all the way around the box we call it um, on there I'm going to just click the fuel pump on um, so that's this button here you don't need to do that guys um, it's just to make it more realistic and now we're pretty much ready to go I'm going to have a look around to make sure I can't see anybody around because um, there are AI aircraft in here and uh, and that is it so that's us ready to go I'm now going to move that throttle all the way forwards I'm going to keep the aircraft pointing straight down the runway it's going to try and go to the left on us um, so try and keep it pointing straight if you're using just the joystick you can do that by holding on to uh, just moving the joystick in the correct direction and when we get to about 55 knots the aircraft's going to want to take off on its own I'm going to press the button to put those flaps up as soon as we start climbing away and then we start climbing away and what I'm going to do I'm not going to worry about the um, kind of doing things properly at this point we'll walk through all of that I'm not going to worry about climbing out at certain speeds I'm just hands off now letting the aircraft fly itself and it will fly out at about the right speed if we got full power on we can check that the engine is in the green here all these temperatures and pressures are in the green and again I'll talk you through all this, what it means to us um, as we get further down the training course. This is purely just to get you up and running and get you in the air. And as you can see, I'm not actually doing anything now. And the aircraft is holding what we call an, an attitude. So the wings are pretty much staying level. A little bit of roll to the left. We'll correct that in a minute. And we've got about 10 or 12 degrees nose up. Where this dot is shows us what nose up attitude we've got. If we pull the nose up even further, the aircraft's going to climb quicker but it's also going to slow down and we can see that speed slowing down here to the point at which we'd stall okay so you can start coming down coming down coming down before it gets too low we want to be climbing at about 70 or 80 really we push the nose down we're going to stop climbing now um, pretty much and the speed's going to increase um, so yeah, but more on those effects of controls as we go, more on trimming as we go. This is just to get you in the air, get you flying around. Um, I'm now going to bring that throttle back a little bit. So bringing the throttle back on the joystick um, until we get to about probably 1800 RPM um, to 2000 RPM. So let's set 2000. That'll give us a nice, um, a nice cruise speed. And then just get used to flying around. It's as simple as that. So get yourself lined up. Um, pop a, a one notch of flaps down. Take that parking brake off. Um, keep yourself Go to full power. Keep yourself lined up with the runway as best you can. Pull up nice and gently. And then that's you flying around. Like I say, we're going to talk through 
all the effects of controls. We're going to talk through what everything does, how it all works, the checks we do before we take off um, in more detail. But yeah, I hope that was useful for getting you up and running, um, starting to choose where you are, you know, get yourself out there, get yourself flying around, spend some time in it. It should all become kind of second nature as you um, as you start to do it more and more. Any questions, give us a shout. Matt, M-A-T-T -T with two T's at MrMPW.com. Um, check out the website, check out the blog, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Fly safe, blue skies.